the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Hermanos, hermanas en Cristo, aquí estamos regocijándonos en este día en que nuestros hijos van a recibir el Espíritu Santo, la plenitud del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Amén. Y um, para los que no me conocen, mi nombre es Monseñor Joseph Espaillat. Uh, yo soy eh, un obispo recién ordenado. Me ordenaron el primero de marzo y soy uh, el obispo más joven en los Estados Unidos. Uh, y soy el obispo del Bronx, el obispo de ustedes. Y estoy muy alegre de estar aquí con ustedes. So, for those of you that do not know me again, thank you, Father Masinde, for welcoming me. My name is Bishop Espaillat. I am uh, the Bishop of the Bronx now. Okay, I am the Bishop of the Bronx. And I am the youngest Bishop in the United States of America. I am the second youngest Bishop in the world. Okay? It is a real honor and a privilege to be able to be here, to celebrate this day with you. Um, Father was there on the day of my consecration, and on that day, it was a beautiful day in which um, the Holy Spirit came forth, and the Holy Spirit uh, literally consecrated me, and oil was poured on my head. So you are about to have oil poured on your head, and we're going to do that calling for a new outpouring of the Holy Spirit. So let us pray, knowing that we are sinners, knowing that we are not perfect, knowing that we make mistakes, let us call upon God's mercy now. Amen? Amen. Vamos a clamar la misericordia de Dios que es inagotable.
hands we pray, Almighty and merciful God, that the Holy Spirit, coming near and dwelling graciously within us, may make of us a perfect temple of his glory. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. When the, time came, when the time for Pentecost was fulfilled, they were all in one place together, and suddenly there came from the sky a noise like a strong driving wind, and it filled the entire house in which they were. Then, they appear, then there appeared to them tongues as a fire, which parted and came to rest on each of them, and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in different tongues, as the Spirit enabled them to proclaim. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven staying in Jerusalem. At this sound, they gathered in a large crowd, but they were confused, because each one heard their, them speaking in his own language. And they were astounded, and in amazement they asked, Are not all these people who are speaking Galileans? Then how does each of us hear them in his native language? We are Parthians, Medes, Elamites, inhabitants of Mesopotamia, Judea, Cappadocia, Pontus, and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the districts of Libya near Cyrene, as well as travelers from Rome, both Jews and converts to Judaism, Cretans and Arabs. Yet we hear them speaking in our own languages of the mighty acts of God. The word of the Lord. Spirit, we were all baptized 
into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slaves or free persons, and, were, and we were all given to drink of one spirit. The word of the Lord. according to John. Glory On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with me. When he, has, he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send him. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit whose sins you forgive are forgiven, and whose sins you retain are retained. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We sit. I'm sure most of you again, Bishop is here and he wants to ambush the chance to, to preach. In all the vocations, including priesthood or any divine call, God calls my name. And that's why even during ordination, before the bishop preaches, they call the candidate to see if they have changed their minds or not. And that's what exactly we are going to do. That maybe, who knows, whatever that is going in in their minds, maybe they have changed their minds and we want to call them to affirm that they are ready to be sent to witness to our faith as they respond to one who has been behind their formation, calling them each. Uh, please, the God's parents, join me again. Naima David and Paul. Jude and Paul. Our dear Estrada. Juan Garcia Sosa. Lionel.
Angelina O'Neill, Anthony O'Neill, Jesus Perez, Vanessa Perez Mejia, Jude Jose Onan. My Bishop Joseph Espanyak. These are the young men and women that we have been trying to get all these normal days reflecting and explaining each other, ready to be imparted with the gifts of the Holy Spirit so that they can go out there as witnesses of faith.
not Spider-Man. That's Jesus. So he who much is given, much will be expected. And that's the problem, that we don't attribute the words that belong to Jesus to the Lord and to the Master. Amen? Hermanos y hermanas, this is a very important thing. Fathers who are here, I have talked completely to ustedes. De nada les sirve venir, traer sus hijos a la iglesia y luego no darle el seguimiento. De nada les sirve. The parents who are here, I speak to you directly. It means nothing. You bring your kid to church and then you don't bring them back. It's a waste. Because we're going to call forth the Holy Spirit upon your children, upon your sons, your daughters, your nieces, your nephews, your grandchildren, your friends, so that they can walk in that power. And this is the problem with the world today. People ask me all the time, well, where did we go wrong? I'll tell you where we went wrong. When we stop putting God first. Amen or ouch? Amen. See, you got to speak. you got to say something. In my church, it's either amen. But have 